Hi everyone, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of update where I'm at with the BC Bearhawk build. I'll show you around the shop a little bit. Reality is I haven't made a ton of progress since the last video, but I have done a few things. Started working on figuring out how to build hydraulic lines. These are actually kind of cool. It's not that hard, but took a little bit of figuring out. The blister is healed now. So I've got that one worked out somewhat. I've also done a bit of rigging. I've got the rudder and the elevator rigged. You can see the fittings here just kind of tied up out of the way. Took a little while to figure out how to do that cleanly and it definitely cost me a few fittings. So buy a couple extras for sure when you're doing that. Um, can't really do much else with the rigging until I get the wings on. So hopefully that's coming up in the next few weeks. But what I'll show you this video is my rotisserie. Kind of happy with how it worked out. It took a little while and a little bit of trial and error to, to get it right. But now it works pretty smooth. I'll show you once I unlock it here. It's balanced pretty good. The first one was a little bit out, so it took a little bit more muscle and it felt like it was a little heavy on one side. And now this one rolls through like pretty light. Kind of hard to do it one-handed. I won't go over because there's something in the way down there, but I've only got a couple pounds of force on it holding it in this position, so I feel pretty safe with it leaning on its side. First one felt kind of heavy. Felt like if anything did let go, it's going to come down pretty quick, but this works pretty good. So, starts off with a couple cheap engine stands from Princess Auto. I don't know what they were, 100 bucks each probably. Two of them, had to cut them up and modify them. The front one had to get quite a bit taller to get up to be at the right balance point. So I painted them so they're not all rusty and dirty, but you can see in here I've spliced in about eight or 10 inches of uh, four inch square tube to make it long enough. And on the front to hold the firewall, or to hold the airframe at the firewall end, I've just made some, I don't know, an H I guess, out of the one inch square tube that the wings came packed in. I've been using that stuff all over the place. It's really good for this and shelves and brackets around the house. It's, they're still in the driveway in most of the cases, but there's quite a bit used around here. And this is the contraption I made for stopping it wherever I want. It's a Jixer chain ring from a buddy. So that's free. 42 teeth, so it's got 42 spots where I can stop the thing. I guess 41, yeah, anyway. Um, so I can index that thing pretty easily and it's pretty good one-handed operation. Just kind of botch together a stopper assembly. Um, I'm not much of a welder, I'm getting a little better, but I can slag stuff together at least and make it work. Uh, not pretty, definitely wouldn't trust myself welding an airframe for a long time, especially with a cheap little crappy MIG welder. Anyway, move to the back here, move along. This bar here, this is just loose in here, but what this does, lets me sit the airframe down on the front stand so I can take the firewall adapter plate off and sit her down on here. It's not quite level, but with a couple shims, I can get the lower datum here sitting nice and level for um, rigging the tail and just for an idea of where the, everything sits. So I got a reference point. Um, moving back, you can see these long rails tying the front to the back. Not totally necessary, but when we get to the back, I'll show you why that is required on this setup that I've got. What I've done is just use the rudder mount, piece of round, I don't know, black iron gas pipe, I guess. Um, another engine stand and a universal joint off of a drive shaft I got from the, the scrapyard. What this does, lets me line it up, not so perfect, and allows for a little bit of a error correction, I guess as it rotates around, but it also lets me lower that front end down to the ground without binding up and without having to undo this end because the U-joint allows it to swivel. But that's why I need these long pieces connecting the two because otherwise this thing would just be swiveling around at the back, nothing holding it on. So another parts that are on here, this thing's bolted onto where the tail spring is gonna go. I can take it off the rear rotisserie and set it down on this wheel and roll it around the shop still. Um, have to do that in order to put the rudder on. And then there's this unit, which I made as well, that'll connect to this piece. And that allows me to keep the back end up higher, a little easier to work on when it's sitting up nice and high like that. And the final piece of this whole contraption here, this allows me to put her down on the front suspension mounting point and still roll it around. So I can take it completely off the rotisserie and still have it rolling around. That, this piece here, 
and the other piece back here are both kind of what it came packaged on in the crates. Just kind of repurposing a lot of this stuff to make it as easy as possible. So anyway, that's the rotisserie. Totally key piece of kit, even for this stage. Crawling around, rigging the pulleys. It'd be a pain in the ass rolling around on the floor. But this thing, roll it up on its side, nice and easy to get to. I'm sure it's even going to come in more important once I get to the rest of the fabric and every other stage of this. So I spent some time trying to build it right, have it make sense. Hopefully that helps if you're working on one.